In this lesson, we're going to be solving word problems associated with exponential growth uh, or potentially exponential decay. So this one involves a population growth of Ghana, which is a country on the west coast of uh, Africa. And in 2013, it had an initial population of 25.2 million, and it was growing exponentially at 2.19% per year. So um, that means that we are talking about a population growth which changes uh, continuously. So you're looking at a PERT type of an equation. So P represents our initial population. E is just we are continuously growing. Uh, we're compounding continuously. And then rate uh, we are given. And then time is just some period of time. This represents your population after a certain period of time. So this equation is your population with respect to time. So as time changes, it affects your population because your rate, in theory, is not changing. So, um, so what is the function, the exponential function for um, this equation, we are looking at um, our population with respect to time is going to be 25.2 million E, and then we want the decimal version of that rate, so 0, 219 um, T. Okay, so we're going to be using this equation um, pretty much throughout all these different types of problems. So the second one is, they wanted to know, what's the population in 2018? Well, if 2013 is our t equals 0, it's our initial population, what everything is based on, 2018 is going to be 5 years later. So we are going to do p of 5. So 25.2 e to the point zero two one nine times 5. So we're just going to plug that right into the calculator and our population five years after 2013 is going to be roughly 28.17 million. All right. So uh, next equation or next situation is they're asking for how long will it take for the population to double? Um, from 2013. So if it's growing at this rate, how long is it going to take to double? So if we do that, uh, we can do it down here. So we don't know uh, the time, but what we do know is the double. So we're going to go from 25.2, our double is going to be 50.4 is going to equal our initial equation. But what we don't know is the time this time. So we're going to try to isolate this piece right here. So we're going to divide by 25.2 divide by 25.2 and that equals 2. So actually if you're ever asked to double, triple, whatever the question relates to adjusting your population if it's a really straightforward one, you can skip all of this because every single time when you divide that over, especially if it's going to be a double, it's just going to equal 2. So it doesn't matter if you start with 1 and it's going to 2, you start with a million and it goes to 2 million. When you start to isolate this piece by itself, that's exactly what it's going to look. So you can kind of skip to that. If they're asking when it's going to triple, you can just do 3 equals your equation. So um, the way to solve this is we're going to log both sides. And I'm going to natural log both sides because this piece is going to work out pretty nice. And then the reason that we log is because this is going to come down. All right, so this piece right here, this natural log of E is just 1. So really you're just left with this 0 0.0219 times T equals the natural log of 2. So we'll divide this to isolate our t. And so we're getting t to equal roughly 31.65 years. So with the rate of growth of 2.19, um, the population in Ghana is going to be doubling roughly every 31 to 32 years if it maintains that same growth. Uh, last one. 
at this growth rate, when will the double, when will the population hit 40 million? So this is going to be, um, rather than us doubling anything, we are just setting it equal to 40. So this one's not gonna divide clean, and like I have no idea what's gonna divide, but this is not gonna be one where I can kind of shortcut that. So same kind of situation, exactly the same math, the only difference is, I don't know what that's gonna divide into, um, but I will tell you it's gonna take less than 31 0.65 years because you're looking at a smaller population. So we'll start the same. 25.2 divided by 25.2. Um, and I don't know what that is, but I'm just going to leave it. So 40 divided by 25.2 equals e to the point 0219t. And then same kind of thing. We're going to log both sides. And the reason I leave this is because I want this to be as exact as possible. Um, if I plug that into the calculator and then I round it, and then we're going to be using that, and then we're going to round that again, it just kind of makes our, our rounding error just bigger and bigger and bigger, and I'm going to try to avoid that. Okay, so we'll log both sides, and the reason we log both sides is so this exponent can go in front. So natural log 25.2. Uh, equals 0 0.0219t times the natural log of e. And just like before, this piece is going to go away because that simplifies to 1. We again divide by 0 0.0219. And then just be careful on how you're typing that into the calculator. And you should get roughly 21.10. Years. Okay, and that was one example of using exponential growth and solving and finding um, populations and finding years it takes to hit certain thresholds.